How's it going everybody? So in this video, I'm going to talk about do ingrown toenail correctors, uh, tools, sorry, do ingrown toenail correction tools work? Before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Please follow me on Instagram, Dylanberg999. So there are lots of ingrown toenail correction tools out there. There are lots of them. So for me to simply say yes or no, I would have to cover, I would have to go and look at every single correction tool. There are a few that do work. I would say majority of them do not work, but there are a couple that do work. So what I would do is I would just review the, the best ones, go on the internet, go on different forums and literally type whatever correction tool you're thinking of using and then just look at some reviews on it because there are so many different ones. I know of two or three and one of the three do work. I won't say, I won't say which one just because a lot of people might argue with me on this, but um, one of the three do work. So that's what I'm saying. Both one out of three, in my opinion, do work. Best way is to do reviews, look at videos to see which ones do work, but they are not needed. Yes, they can help and some of them do help, but there's another way to get rid of an ingrown toenail and it's very, very, very simple to do. What you want to do, the main thing that I have found for getting rid of an ingrown toenail, like the simplest thing that I do, is that I will get cold water, like super, super cold. And what I will do is I will run, I will put my toe underneath the cold water and I'll do it for about a minute. So it will get really, really cold, almost to the point where it, it doesn't hurt anymore to touch it because it's so cold. Uh, it's like putting an ice pack on it. You can put an ice pack on it too if you want to. Then what I will do is I will wait a couple minutes, make sure that you can feel, you can feel your, your toenail, that you can feel where it is. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put warm water underneath. What I've noticed is by doing this, what happens is it softens your skin so so much and then you can try to get rid of the ingrown toenail. If, if you try to get rid of an ingrown toenail when your toes are normal, it is so hard. But if you make it soft, like super, super soft, then it will work. Now again, you can just simply go for a warm bath. This helps to soften your skin. But what I found is that putting cold water under it first waiting three, four, five minutes, and then putting warm water works way better. The reason why I say to wait three, four, five minutes is because if you put the warm water right after you did the cold water, and you might not be able to feel the temperature because your foot still may be cold and you may burn yourself. So make sure you do the cold water for about a minute, wait three, four, five minutes. So where your, your toe is not sensitive anymore to, to, to any, uh, uh, temperature and then you put the warm water on so you don't so you don't uh, hurt yourself and yeah that's what I recommend to do and I found your skin is so like so soft and it makes it it's super simple it's like the easiest thing to do so end of video thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already please follow me on Instagram Dylan Burke 999